everyone welcome back to the channel this is eva and we are doing a speed build of an apartment complex today in mount komarebi this was actually an original idea for this like floor plan i don't know if it's been done before probably has probably not that original actually but i came up with this idea and i actually mapped it out when in photoshop like i actually like drew the little squares and everything it took me a while to get the base of the apartment done and um we do end up like fixing it a little bit in this video and i actually really like how it turns out i uh, i do actually end up i will tell you right now at the beginning of the video i do actually end up furnishing two of the units there are six units in total in the beginning i made their eight units but then i was like wait you'll see once we get to that part of the video but i um i was really excited uh when i thought about it because i was thinking of storylines for um uh, like the new pack and stuff and so i wanted to actually talk about it so for like the last day or so i've been writing uh different like household stories that could go um for like the tenants of the different apartments and so i was um thought about a, a group which i don't know i might record it for the channel or i might not i think it'd be cool if i do but um so i won't tell you everything about it but just think of it as sulani like sulani residents are, are like transplants in mount kamarebi so they are from sulani originally and then they move out to mount kamarebi and i thought that was a good concept because they are like um used to the warmer weather and they're moving to somewhere really cold so that's why i thought about for this one um so maybe they can live here because i do have the top two um units are going to be like family units and then everything else like the first floor or this first floor of units is going to be um um just like single residence ones so i was really inspired by like the, like the um one of the debug um apartment building so in snow escape if you look through the debug there's actually like an apartment building in there and i tried building it um off camera but actually the floor plan wasn't like adding up because you had one side had um the balconies and then right at the front had balconies so i didn't know how to do the floor plan so that's why i came up with this one so i ended up making um the top floor similar to the bottom one but i ended up changing it later i changed it because one i realized that um the bottom floor ends up being like a community style shared spaces and um, that's inspired since i know that we're gonna have shared spaces in the floor rent pack i decided to make the shared spaces on the first floor so you have like you're gonna have like a laundry room um a, a small gym which uh I, I end up making the style more like run down ish like it's not like super nice on the first floor where the shared space is but the uh, the apartments themselves are more decorate or not decorated because I didn't decorate them but they're more um, renovated I guess so like the floors are nicer um, stuff like that and I decided to do it on the Hasakura lounge lot because one, I'm probably not going to have a lounge <laughs> um, when I do this save file. But uh, if I do, I'm just going to move it to a smaller lot because I don't know. I don't I, I want there to be a lot of life. So I wanted to make a unit here. Um, I took a lot of time trying to make sure that the floor plan was right and um like some things were bigger than other places but i used the t i finally got to use those tiny living um doors i never used them before today uh so i was really happy that i got to use those because i feel like those are really nice apartment style even though they have like little windows in it i'm just gonna pretend like those are screened windows uh, here we're starting out on the like the laundromat area i actually really like this concept and having to uh, even though i don't like it in real life i like it in the sims like you can um take your laundry downstairs and and do your laundry there because when you do your laundry they do take the bag out of like the laundry bag and they're carrying it downstairs so i like that image more 
And then I decided to put um, a set of vending machines and a table here. So your Sims can watch TV while they wait for their laundry and stuff. And I saw this in, in a public lot. I think in the wind, if not the Windbrook save file, then in another one, like with similar concept, where um, it was way, way more detailed than this one. Like, um, I think that's one thing I'm, I was worried about. Like, it's not super detailed in in this one, but um, I want the playability to still be there. So I know that um, not all computers can handle super, um, super cluttered builds. So that's why I hold off on uh, doing a lot of, of of clutter sometimes. In my own personal world, heck yeah, I'm going to put that clutter there. But in this one, I was like, maybe not too much. Because once you have all of the all of the um, places decorated, then it's going to be way more uh, stuff to load in. So I just sat, uh, settled with like um, this magazine stand. was really a cool touch that I liked. Um, like the the basket on there I thought that was a cool touch and then I ended up changing the floor to like the more rundown city living floor and then here is where I really liked it um you can hire baristas in the sims and I thought that that would be cool um to kind of like do and you kind of like treat your money back up but that there's a barista living here or like one of the sims who lives here is a barista um so I thought that would be cool um maybe like the landlord is um a barista <laughs> and so i decided to just make those community spaces that's like a community building um i end up making like a little like courtyard area here and i ended up actually deleting this part um but i didn't want to delete it because you gotta show people your process you know what i'm saying and so i ended up changing like the floor a bunch and and it's all that but um i'm really excited uh, with this pack coming out because it, it gives me so many opportunities uh for storylines like i'm writing storylines more than i ever have before so far with these um like duplex and apartments like when i thought about like the sulanis moving to uh mount karma Revy, i was like that's really cool so i'll give you like a sneak peek but i'll probably do a cast video on it um, but there are siblings, um, and one is going to be a salary person, so she's completely new to, like, the business and salary person, like, career. And then, um, her, like, her brother is going to be, like, the snowboarder. So, it's going to be really cool to see, like, how two sims who are from a completely different climate, um, um, adjust to the Sulan, uh, adjust to Malcolm or Rebby Snow and stuff. And I think that would be cool in this one. Like, you could put them in... I think I might put them in one of the top ones because there are... Well, I could split them up. But I might actually move them on to a completely different line. Not this one, probably. This one is for, like, four single people and then two families upstairs. Um, here, I end up putting the mailboxes. Um, obviously, I'm going to change those because um, once the, the new pack comes out, there's going to be... Um, like the actual mailbox based on the pictures i've seen i'm like there'll be an actual mailbox there and here is gonna be my poor little boo boo little gym um i didn't want it to be a fancy gym because one i didn't have much space and two i was like it's just like it's an amenity it's fine like probably people won't probably use it that much anyway um so i wanted to get at least two treadmills and two of the workout machines in here so I'll make sure to kind of like do it. I haven't play tested this gym out, but I press tested on one of the treadmills. But I haven't like play tested them walking through that gap right there. And at first, I was gonna put a basketball court here, but I was like, I don't have enough room for that. Like that's not gonna work. And I tried on the other side, that didn't work either. So I end up ditching that idea and making it just a walkway instead. And then I was like, what about? I remember that thing from spa day where it looks like it's like a bunch of protein things i was like let's put that thing in there i wish the backlight wasn't in there but it's fine and then this room 
I really like how this room came out. At first, I was gonna make it like a public space, like um, you play like like a gaming space. But then I thought about, wait, we can make this like a toddler room, like a toddler area, like a kids room. Cause I I don't know what made me think about it, but I was thinking of when I was a kid, um, at the church I used to go to, there was like a room for kids and stuff, and we would watch TV. And I think that day, I don't know why I thought about this. I don't know if it's even true. Uh, I was thinking of how we used to sit on little little pillows or like on a, on a mat or something in front of the TV and we watched The Prince of Egypt. And so uh, that's what I was thinking about for some reason. But uh, I decided to finally use this floor because I never used the floor ever. Because even though we have this floor in here, I feel like you can't really use it anywhere other than maybe like a library's kids section or um like a daycare which i really want to make a daycare but i don't know what, like if it'll be functional so if there's even a point in making one um but yeah i put the little pillows and then i end up putting the, um one of the old tvs from the uh hidden treasures kit is that what it's called um so i really like that aspect of it and so I'm thinking that there's like at least two children and um, at least maybe one or two children in this lot. And then like an infant, um, even though I have two of them there. So it might be two infants and they grow up and then they become the kids of the lot. So that can work. Um, so I'm like fiddling a lot with the thing. Um, I ended up putting like a nice little chair, like lobby area, because I didn't want it to be completely bare. I really like those sconces. Those are probably one of my favorite sconces in this game. Um, and then I just like move upstairs. I, um, no, I don't. Do I? No. I end up adding a bathroom because I end up remembering once I looked at that room one more time, the kids' room. I end up um looking at the kids' room, and I actually realize now that i only made it a regular bathroom um uh, instead of like i need to put i need to put like a, a kid's uh baby changing table in there because i didn't put one so i just made like a bathroom and i didn't want it to be just on the first floor after looking at this so i put it on all of the floors this is like public restroom i don't know with that is a thing in apartments i feel like it's not maybe apartment complexes but you know it's fine it's fine so i end up adding it to the different floors and it's it ends up being like that so um but yeah so i'm thinking that this building can be a building for salary people and uh all the salary people can live here just because maybe not all the salary people but definitely um uh, some because i was thinking for the the storyline i was thinking of um, there's a building, I want there to be an apartment building that just the salary people are living so they can easily get to know each other and stuff like that. Um, but this one may be an apartment for um, the friends of those people um, that I was talking about. So um, there's like a group of people who like go snowboarding and stuff like that. So they may live here. I don't know. It's, it's, there's so many possibilities many possibilities that i haven't thought of um i just end up adding i think the favorite part of this one was not only furnishing one of the apartments but also doing the landscaping i really did enjoy the landscaping in this one at first i didn't know how it was gonna go but i ended up making a pathway a pathway and i ended up making like um like a little junk yard area um do i know why i put that there no but I don't know why I ended up putting this plate part here. Um, I, I was like, you know, there just needs to be a place for everyone that puts their garbage. But I'm like thinking, because I was thinking back when I was living in Korea, um, how there was like a part, there's some parts of the apartment that were like nice and there's some parts that were bad. And so I was like, this could be one of the parts. And this could be a part where like, you know, there's a bunch of junk and stuff back here. And people just like bring their trash and stuff and like go run back to their apartment. Because that's how it's kind of like with the recycling. So, oh, it's the basement treasures. That's the one that's called. So I ended up putting like the mattress and stuff back there. 
and um the mirror broken mirror some boxes those boxes are from eco lifestyle by the way because i always forget where they are and i feel like i should tell you and i just make this like a little city area yeah you don't want to sit out by the trash but you know it's fine if you need a smoke break or something i'm definitely gonna download the um the base metal i know people can't always use mods but the base metal mod is really cool if you want to add like um real more realistic things don't do drugs kids but um you know one thing i i want to add is like oh going on a smoke break or something i don't know but that could be a space you could do it and um i really did like the um landscaping here um just to add like little flowers and stuff like that i thought that was really cute that red tree is also really beautiful too and then i was like this part this little space needs to be something so you know what I did? I ended up making a garden, like a small little garden area. I need to go back in and have a sim actually plant the, the vegetables. I was like, hey, why don't we make this a little vegetable garden? We could have like um, carrots and potatoes and mushrooms. So it's like, I guess carrots, bell peppers, mushrooms, and uh, potatoes. So uh, your sims could have those once they grow. And I was like, there could be maybe like an old lady living here. Um, does the, the the gardening i thought that would be cute and then i end up making it a um like a little bike rack because um i wasn't gonna i thought i thought about doing a car lot but then i looked at the uh where this lot is and um there's no real space for you to drive your car so um i was like no it's more like a walking biking area so I decided to do that. And here's where I come back and decide. I decided to make this space um, more like a bed, another community space area. Um, at first I was gonna make it like a like part of the cafe, but then I was like, it could be more of a space where people come and eat or people come and play games and stuff like that. That ping pong table that I had originally in that kid's room, I ended up putting it out here. So I really like the way that it came out here. And I'm sorry if my voice seems a little shaky. I'm having like coughing fits while I'm recording this. So if you, uh, it's gonna cut out sometimes or like have brief editing. So I decided to use these two tables from City Living. And um, I really like those now that I'm looking at them even more. And uh, more than I liked it when I put it out there. They like a little grill area so you can go have like a, a community grilling and ping pong day or stuff like that and um then i was gonna put this foosball table but i was like i don't like the way it looks it looks too old i wish we had another a foosball table that was like more modern uh because i was like i just don't like the way it looks and then i was gonna make it another seating area but then i thought about what about the puzzles from the growing together kit um the growing together not the kit growing together expansion pack and i forgot that these uh plants were even there at first um i didn't even know that those plants were in there to be honest i haven't really played a lot of the packs that came out i really just focused on the bill buy and even then i still forget some things um so i really need to get on that because i haven't been i haven't been doing it um so i um let's see i guess that's pretty much it for the landscaping other than a few bushes and stuff that I end up putting there. Um, I'm looking for like different things that go with the world. So I put these little um, snowy escape um, plants here because I like how they look. And I do my little dirt um, surrounding and stuff like that. I decided to leave that space like clear because you know there's there was no reason to put anything over there. And um, yeah that's pretty much for the the thing and on the roof i put like the two vent things i think in the new pack we're gonna end up having a um more features like a water heater i saw that in the trailer so i hope they do add stuff like that because that'll be a good thing to add at like the back of the building probably in that spot i left but now we've moved on to the interior we've moved on to the interior and i really wanted to try to use the um wallpaper and the um the floors that came with snowy escape but i also didn't know how to style it um because i'm not using i'm not usually building with styles like this so i ended up changing the floors to like that light wood color because it's similar to the kind of wood that i remember 
I'm staying in my apartment. And um, I end up going upstairs and making upstairs a darker color scheme and making it dark wood instead. And I like that contrast because it kind of like gives the difference between the different lots. And um, this uh, floor plan will end up changing. I will change it to like a family one. So I move on and I try to make the kitchen with the um with the with the cabinets that came with snowy escape but then i was like well it, it's not gonna really make sense with the uh with the stove top so i ended up making it with the home chef hustle pack ones because i hadn't built with those yet and i was actually really confused uh really confused on that corner piece right there because it's just open and then i was like wait but the other ones aren't open so why and so i also had very little space to work with so for these kitchens i didn't furnish the other ones i will off camera though um before i upload it for the other four for the other yeah the other four lots that i didn't furnish i will put the kitchens in there just so you don't have to worry about that um and so it's more like ready to move in but um, I had more of a mini fridge in my apartment, so that's why I put a mini fridge in these and these four. And the other two for the family ones, you'll have like a bigger fridge, um, just because you know, big families need bigger fridges. And so I really liked how it came out with like the mini kitchen and stuff. And I put a microwave on top. I really like that they have a slot where you could put the microwave on there, because that's where I put my microwave when I had an apartment, and I really like that detail. And, um, I end up using the Home Chef Hustle Pack for basically the entire kitchen, except for, you know, small things like the, um, coffee maker and stuff. And I put the bathroom right next to the door, uh, just cause I thought it was easy access and it's not too serious. And, um, for this one, I used my little, that little technique that I found on TikTok where you could put your, um, your sink in your kitchen, um, not kitchen, what? your sink and your toilet next to each other and i was gonna try and put the shower next to the toilet but i figured that probably wouldn't work anyway so i just put it in the corner and it does work i play tested it for this one <clears throat> i did have enough room to put a double bed here um if you have two sims i know that they can slide over for like woohoo purposes it's gonna be like a little hard i don't think they can woohoo if they can't go to the other side which i feel like they should just be able to scoot in like the regular sims can i do end up putting a um like the tv from tiny living tiny living really came in clutch and for this uh, apartment when it came to the furnishing um because you know we i didn't want to um run out of space and like sacrifice that double bed um i feel like you can really make it work with two sims they just might not woohoo a lot <laughs> uh you know what i mean and you can always replace the shower and that's in the bathroom with another shower if you want them to do shower woohoo instead i end up putting like a little space for um like her for the laptop for that person so they do have a laptop space they do have a eating space um and they do have a double bed you can always change it to a single bed if you want um more space but double beds do fit in here and i ended up making the um balcony here um like a yoga area um and also like a reading area too so i try to put like decorated with these like vines and stuff and these flowers i can't forget together this chair i had never used before from high school years and i decided it would be a nice little nook reading nook area so i really like how that part came out um and i ended up just moving back outside and putting like those lights from city living there i wish it was uh completely equal but it's not and that's okay things don't have to be equal it, it'd be great if they were but they're not and that's okay and so i'm moving around a lot and this is where i move into that second building so i do end up changing the floor plan to include one bedroom uh for the parents and another for a baby or a child so i'm probably gonna make it to be two infants just so they can kind of like grow up together and they can use that play space area at the same time um so i do have it where i really wanted to put that floor that floor table in there but it just didn't fit 
um it's gonna be really small for that uh for like the family space but i think it's pretty much okay because you do have like your outdoor stuff so you can use that and i'm uh i didn't put it in this video but i am going to put it before i upload it like uh, like a little chess table or something outside um just so you do have another activity to do are you probably wondering why it's like the um this the the sofa next to this the 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 refrigerator it's okay it's fine we didn't have a lot of space to work with so i ended up making um this couch i think a little smaller i think um so it's not completely right next to the to the fridge i am going to play test this before um before i upload it just to make sure because i might change some things around so i might end up moving that fridge for the bedroom i thought it came out pretty nice i decided to use mostly um snowy escape stuff just to match the vibes of everything i ended up putting the bookshelf there and um the dresser that comes with there too so here's that bookshelf that i really like as well as the dresser um and it matched the colors well and everything and i decided to put the small desk that's from city living here so you can still like have their work because i know some the salary person sims do some work at home as well so i thought it would be good to uh keep that detail here and i really like the way this came out like i think this will be a really nice um apartment to play in uh, especially when we have the for rent pack out um this is like a space for a baby so um i'll definitely make some sims that like just had a newborn um or have an infant so i rarely ever make infants so i definitely want to utilize them for this pack and i end up putting like these little base game items here the base game infant items that came out um really came in handy here because i was like i want there to be something on these walls even though they're not super decorated i didn't want to include those so i ended up adding the blinds again just for some privacy and um yeah that's pretty much how it came out for the same thing um just to note for this bathroom there is no bathtub but you can wash your infants in the sink uh, i don't know if it will um be the same amount of cleanliness like if the cleanliness need will go up but that's what it's there so here are the screenshots i really enjoyed building this um i had a lot of fun even though it was very stressful when i was um first building the shell so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you would like more please comment on what you'd like to see i really want some suggestions for like apartments and stuff like that so um i'll see you guys next time bye